Hello and welcome to this day in history for February 25th. February 25th is the 56th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar with 309 days remaining to the end of the year, unless it's a leap year, in which case there are 310 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is petrichor. Petrichor is a noun, meaning the pleasant smell that accompanies the first rain after a dry spell. This word was coined by researchers I.G. Bear and R.G. Thomas in 1964 from Greek petros, which means stone, and ichor, which means the fluid that supposedly flows in the veins of the gods in Greek mythology. Earliest documented use of this word is 1964. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes and I ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and share this video with others. You can do that through your email or in social media. And with that, we're going to start in the year 1836 when on February 25th, Samuel Colt was granted a United States patent for the Colt Revolver. This is the birthday of Pierre-Auguste Renoir, French painter and sculptor, born on February 25th, 1841. He developed rheumatoid arthritis in his later years, but he kept on painting because that's what he did. <laughs> Someone asked him one time, why did he continue to paint with this painful arthritis? And he said, the pain passes, but the beauty remains. Renoir lived to the age of 78. On February 25th, 1862, the United States Congress passed the Legal Tender Act, which authorized the use of paper notes to pay the government's bills, allowing them to finance the enormously costly Civil War. On February 25, 1870, Hiram Rhodes Revels became the first African-American congressman to be sworn in. On February 25, 1901, J.P. Morgan incorporated the United States Steel Corporation. This is the birthday of Herbert Manfred Marx, better known to us as Zeppo, <laughs> the youngest of the five Marx brothers. On February 25th, 1919, Oregon placed a one cent per U.S. gallon tax on gasoline, becoming the first U.S. state to levy a gasoline tax. On February 25th, 1932, Adolf Hitler obtained German citizenship by naturalization, which allowed him to run in the 1932 election for president of Germany. On February 25, 1948, communists took power in Czechoslovakia. On this day in 1949, actor Robert Mitchum was released from the Los Angeles County Prison Farm after serving time for marijuana possession. Makes you want to go look at some of his movies, doesn't it? <laughs> on February 25, 1956, Sylvia Plath met her future husband, Ted Hughes. And we've talked about Sylvia Plath before. On February 25, 1964, a boxer, then known as Cassius Clay, knocked out Sonny Liston, achieving the first world boxing title for a man we now know as Muhammad Ali. And I think that's going to do it for us today. As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. Be sure and stay tuned for those outtakes here in a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And please share this around to everyone you know, everyone. <laughs> While you're on the internet, check out my other channel, 8 Susquehanna. There's a link to that in the show notes as well. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Just read that over. <sighs> so many mistakes. We're not going to go into all that. Okay. I don't know how all that's going to go together. If it's even going to make it to the video, we'll just see. That's not going to go.
probably cut all that out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up. <laughs> 